the teen services librarian at 95th Street Library. Now for a lot of teens, we're getting to that point in the year where school and sports and extracurricular activities can get a little overwhelming, maybe exhausting. So today we're going to be making a super quick and easy bubble wrap painting of a cherry blossom tree. So let's get started. In your craft kit, you'll have a set of instructions, a piece of white cardstock, a paintbrush, three cups of paint in three colors, white, pink, and brown. And of course, you will have a little piece of bubble wrap to do your painting. We're gonna start our cherry blossom tree with the brown paint. Of course, we wanna make a trunk and the branches of the tree. This will form kind of the foundation for our painting. This is what we're gonna go off of when we later on use our bubble wrap to put the cherry blossoms and the leaves onto our tree. So you can make the tree as sparse or as thick as you'd like and have some smaller branches coming off the big branches. And we'll make sure to just let that dry. So once the trunk and branches have dried, we're going to go in with that pink paint and we'll paint it right directly onto the bubble wrap. It'll be on that bubbled out part. So the bubble parts will be towards you. Get a nice coating of paint on there. And then we'll press the bubble wrap with the paint right onto the branches. It might be a little light to start, so add more paint if you need to. And just press that bubble wrap with the paint around your branches just as you would like to. As much of the pink as you want on your painting, that's how much you can pop right on there. To add some dimension to our painting, we are gonna mix a little bit of the white paint with the pink paint to create a lighter pink. And that may not be enough if you scoop a little bit, so pour as much white in there as you need. So you see our pink is quite a bit lighter than the first shade that we made. And you'll do the same process where you just paint onto the bubble wrap on that bubbled part and just press it right onto the painting. And once again, you can put as much of the paint and the pink cherry blossoms that you would like. It's a little bit lighter, so it'll stand out against the darker pink. And last but not least, we are gonna use the same process with that white paint. So we'll take the white paint, put it right on your bubble wrap. And like the other colors, same thing, we'll just press it right onto the painting. It'll add a little bit different color, just a mix of that pink, light pink, and the white. You could press as much of that as you would like on your painting. And then once you've finished up with your white, you can also add a little bit more of any color if you'd like. I'm gonna add a little bit more pink to give it some dimension, give it a little bit more of those cherry blossoms. And if you get a little messy, that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And as easy as that, you'll have a beautiful bubble wrap cherry blossom tree to celebrate the beginning of spring. Hope you enjoy.